Hello and welcome to my channel. I hope you enjoy this story. I'm going to try and upload a new story each day. The Desolate Dancer Isle Holly had always been drawn to the charm of the Isle of Wight, with its picturesque landscapes and quaint villages. When she discovered an old theatre with a dance studio tucked away in a corner, she couldn't resist the opportunity to revive her passion for dance. Little did she know that the dance studio harbored a dark secret that would unravel her life. The theater, once lively and vibrant, now stood desolate and shrouded in an eerie silence. As Holly entered the dance studio, she felt a chill running down her spine. The air seemed heavy with an unseen presence, and a faint melody echoed through the room, a haunting tune that seemed to transcend time itself. Undeterred, Holly began to practice her dance routines in the studio, hoping to revive the forgotten spirit of the place. However, as the days passed, strange occurrences unfolded. Mirrors reflected movements she hadn't made, and whispers of spectral laughter echoed through the empty hallways. One evening, as Holly twirled gracefully across the studio floor, the atmosphere changed. The temperature dropped, and a mysterious mist enveloped the room. Suddenly, figures materialized around her ethereal dancers from a bygone era, frozen in a never-ending performance. Their ghostly eyes lopped onto Holly, and an otherworldly force compelled her to join their spectral ballet. Terrified, Holly tried to escape, but the spectral dancers moved in unison, trapping her in a mesmerizing dance. Their cold hands reached out to her, pulling her into a realm between the living and the dead. The studio transformed into a surreal stage with the haunting backdrop of an eternal twilight. The leader of the spectral troupe, a phantom ballerina with hollow eyes, approached Holly. In a voice that resonated with centuries of longing, she explained the curse that bound them, a curse born of a tragic love story that ended in betrayal. To break the curse, they needed new members to join their never-ending performance. As Holly struggled to comprehend her predicament, the studio's walls dissolved, revealing a surreal landscape where the boundary between reality and the spectral realm blurred. The spectral dancers danced tirelessly, their movements both beautiful and grotesque, as if locked in a perpetual struggle between passion and despair. Desperation seized Holly as she realized the only way to escape was to find a way to break the curse. The spectral dancers, fueled by an insatiable hunger for new members, closed in on her with each passing dance. Holly delved into the history of the theatre, uncovering the tragic love story that had condemned the dancers to their spectral existence. Armed with this knowledge, Holly confronted the ghostly figures, weaving a dance that transcended time and emotion. As the final notes of her ethereal performance echoed through the desolate dance hall, the curse shattered and the spectral dancers dissipated into the void. Holly, exhausted and emotionally drained, found herself back in the now silent dance studio. The mirror is no longer distorted reality, and the haunting melody had faded away. The Isle of White Theatre, once consumed by the supernatural, now stood still and empty. As Holly stepped out into the moonlit night, she couldn't shake the lingering sense of having danced with the ghosts of the past. The desolate dance hall had relinquished its hold on the spectral troupe, but the echoes of their ethereal ballet would forever linger in Holly's memories, a haunting reminder of a dance between the living and the dead. Months passed, and Holly tried to put the haunting experience behind her. She returned to her normal life, avoiding any mention of the Isle of Wight and the desolate dance hall. However, the supernatural encounter had left an indelible mark on her soul. One day, as Holly browsed a local antique shop, she stumbled upon an old, dusty music box. Intrigued, she opened it, and a haunting melody filled the air. The memories of the spectral dance troupe flooded back, and Holly felt a chill down her spine. The music box seemed to hold a connection to the otherworldly realm she had once been a part of. Unable to resist the lure of the mysterious music, Holly found herself drawn back to the Isle of Wight. The desolate dance hall, though no longer plagued by the cursed ballet, seemed to pulse with residual energy. The music box's haunting melody echoed through the empty theater, rekindling the dormant spirits. To a surprise, the spectral dancers reappeared, but this time they were different. Freed from the curse, they moved with a newfound grace, expressing joy rather than desperation. The ghostly ballerina, once trapped in sorrow, approached Holly with gratitude in her eyes. 
The spirits explained that Holly's courage and determination had broken the curse, allowing them to find peace. In gratitude, they transformed the desolate dance hall into a place of serenity and beauty, a sanctuary for dancers both in this world and the next. Holly, now a conduit between the living and the spectral realm, embraced her unique connection. The dance studio became a haven where dancers from different eras could coexist, sharing their passion for dance. The once desolate theatre bloomed with life, attracting both mortal and ethereal performers who found solace in the harmonious collaboration. As Holly continued to dance, she became a bridge between worlds, uniting the living and the spectral in a tender celebration of art and expression. The Isle of Wight, once haunted by tragedy, now became a beacon of unity, where the beauty of dance transcended the boundaries of mortality. And so, in the midnight nights on the Isle of Wight, the desolate dance hall transformed into a sanctuary where the living and the dead could share the joy of movement and expression. The haunting melody of the music box echoed through the theatre, a reminder of the spectral ballet that once bound the dancers in despair but now united them in an eternal dance of liberation and grace. Thank you for listening, I hope you enjoyed this story. Please don't forget to like and even better like and subscribe. Thank you very much and I hope you have had or have a great day.